Hello, today we'll look at how to split up address data such as this, which is all contained in one cell, into different columns. First, we'll separate out the street address by telling Excel to look for where the comma in the data is located in each cell. We'll type equals, find, parenthesis, and put the comma in quotes, semicolon, and we'll look for that comma in field A2 in our example, close parenthesis, and enter and it tells us that our comma is the 17th character in that particular cell. Then we'll tell it to extract all of the characters before that 17th character, the comma. We'll type equals left, parenthesis, and in cell A2, semicolon, we want to look for the value we just created in B2, and minus 1 to exclude that comma itself, close parenthesis. Enter, and it has extracted the street address. Next, we'll separate the zip code and state by simply extracting the last eight characters of the field, the five-digit zip code, the space, and the two characters for the state. To do this, we'll enter in equals, right, parenthesis, and in field A2, we want to extract semicolon, eight characters, close parenthesis, and enter. And let's use that exact same method to extract the first two characters for the state. So we'll type equals, left, parenthesis, and in field D2, semicolon, we'll extract two characters, close parenthesis, and enter. And now we'll grab the zip code value from that same D2 cell by typing in equals, right, parenthesis, D2, semicolon, five characters, close parenthesis, and enter. Now let's extract the city. To do so, we'll first isolate the text between the state and the comma in this field. We'll type equals, find, parenthesis, a space in quotes, and the state, which is our value in E2, and a space in quotes, semicolon, we'll extract this data from cell A2, close parenthesis, and enter. And we get 27. So this means that our state is starting at character number 27 in this cell. So all we have to do now is have it extract the text between the comma, character number 17, and the state, character number 27. So we'll come to a new column and type equals mid, parenthesis, we'll extract from the field A2, semicolon, and we'll take the text starting with the value of B2 plus 1, semicolon, and the value of G2 minus B2, which is our 27 minus 17 in this case, end parenthesis, and enter. And we have the city. So let's do the same for all of our other rows. We'll just highlight all of these new fields we created. We'll hover over the highlighted cells and find this small square icon, and double click it. And lastly, we can do some cleanup here. But before we can delete these rows that contain formulas only, we'll need to perform one last step for each column. Notice if you try and delete one of these columns as is, we'll get an error here. That's because these fields don't actually contain the values we're seeing, but rather they contain the formulas. So let's undo that last action and we'll right-click to highlight our entire column of street addresses. Copy, and right-click again to paste as values, this 1, 2, 3 icon here. And now these fields contain those values, not the formulas we created. Let's repeat the process for the city, the state, and the zip code. And now we can freely delete these formula columns we no longer need. and highlight and cut, insert cut cells, and now in the order we like, we've got street, city, state, and zip code. 